Hey, hey everyone, Lori Carter coming to you from my office in Casa Vega Spiritualist Camp. And I gotta tell you, it's been a little chilly here in the state of Florida for not just one or two days, but four weeks now. And I'm telling you right now, I am so ready for winter to be done. But hey, I learned how to dress in layers because I'm from Wisconsin. This is what we do here in Florida as well. And so what I want to talk to you about is living in Casa Vegas Spiritualist Camp and being able to go to the bookstore. And I have to tell you, it is a blessing and maybe hurts my pocketbook a little bit sometimes. Because why? I am drawn to crystals and stones and minerals. And, you know, I got to tell you the latest one I found right here. You got to love this. Look at it. Ooh, it's beautiful and I love it. Talk about a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful vibe. I like it. And so I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. It's a cobaltoan calcite and it stimulates creativity, uplifts emotions, promotes harmony, and dispels negativity. It charges the auric bodies and facilitates a deep, steady connection to the spirit world. It is an excellent stone for meditation and may be used to induce deep relaxation and generate new ideas and solutions. I got that from the website Sage Crystals. And then pretty much everyone on the internet agrees that this is a talisman of love that will help one discover their true emotions buried within. And I actually found that one on Crystal Council. Here it is right here again. Isn't it beautiful? And so another thing that I really, really, really love is I've always loved sodalite. Here's my first sodalite find. Isn't it beautiful? And of course, it was in the bookstore. Where else? And then I got into some raw sodalites right here. Beautiful again. And another one. Yep, this one is almost a reddish, orangish color. You maybe not be able to see it because of lighting. And here is another one right here. Yep. Oh, this is the orangish red one. Part of my bad. And then we have the large one right here. That is definitely a reddish orange. Anyway, so, soda light. I love soda light. Always have. Can't tell you why. Maybe because partially my favorite color is blue. Sodalite is sometimes considered a guardian for heroes and heroines, especially those speaking truth to power. It is believed to have the ability to unite logic with intuition and the drive for truth with the rise of idealism. Practitioners have used Sodalite to organize the mind, as it's said to promote rational thought, objectivity, and perception. It is sometimes thought to cleanse lymph nodes and boost the immune system. All these balancing abilities are why sodalite is often used in groups with other stones and among multiple users. Sodalite is assigned to the throat chakra and to the Western astrolog astrological sign Sagittarius, which is me. <laughs> which could be why I have all this soda light around. Uh, this came from the Fire Mountain Gems website. And then soda light opens the mind to logic and rationality, inducing clarity and comprehension. Its grounding action stabilizes mood swings. Similarly, soda light has soothing, calming vibrations to help you reach a deep meditative state for clear divination and empathic readings. And that was from the Rock Paradise website. I find that very interesting. Why? Because I have all of those stones and crystals and minerals all by my uh, reading space as well. And so I hope you guys enjoyed the little things about crystals and information. I thought it was something different and fun to do. But we're going to go here into the card draw now. And here we go. Path of the Soul Destiny cards. You know I love these. Pick one, two, or three. Here we go. Card number one is number 43. Universal Connection. 
The guidance you are now receiving is truly universal. Take time to daily, take time daily to connect with your guides and angels. They wish to connect with you as much as you wish to connect with them. They are working very closely with you and you are being encouraged to journal at this time. This is a great story you are writing. It is your personal story and it is unique to you and only you. Write poetry to express the emotions you are feeling. Write down your dreams and synchronistic events that occur. This card calls for putting your connection and experience with spirit into writing. And card number two is card five, Boundless. This is a card without limits. It is eternal and infinite. Either you are just beginning to experience your own unlimited nature or you are holding yourself back from it. This card asks to you, remove any doubts and fears you may have. Move forward in faith, knowing the only limits you will ever experience are the ones you have created for yourself based on your own beliefs. A world without boundaries or limits is opening to you. Anything and everything is possible. And finally, if you chose number three, here it is. 19, clarity. A beautiful clarity has begun for you. Your mental, physical, and emotional bodies are undergoing a detoxification process. You may have already noticed that your thought processes are more clear and exact. Your physical body is running more energy and old emotional issues are being released from the cells. Once this cleanse is complete, you can look forward to experiencing more joy and contentment in life. This clarity also brings with it a deeper understanding of your purpose here on earth. You are being renewed in every way. And I hope you guys enjoyed it today. Have a fabulous week.